Hello everybody, my name is Nesky Demore. Welcome back for another video of NHL 9 Dynasty Mode. We're going to continue this series. Um, on the last video, we actually uh, simulated the entire fifth uh, year, just like the other season, uh, other basically videos and all. When you come up to the season, we uh, try to simulate the entire year and uh, we succeed in it. It's been a pretty long uh, video, the last one, but um, I managed to drop it down to 40 minutes or something like that. Uh, anyways, now we are coming up to the fifth, our fifth playoff overall. Uh, we actually made it, uh, made it to the playoffs all the years, all five years, but only once did we make it to uh, very far, and that was on the finals of the cup themselves, just to lose to the Stanley Cup champions, and that was on the first year. I'm hoping this year we got a different goaltender. Um, two, actually, we cleaned out the goaltender slot, really. Uh, we got rid of Jacques Plante a long time ago, uh, or at least a year pre, pre uh, a year before that, and we had Litonen for an entire year as our starter. But Litonen is not there anymore either. Uh, it's actually Dryden, our main goaltender, and Jagerson, which is one of our big time prospects, uh, is our backup goaltender. So. I'm looking for a good series here. I don't know how uh, Dryden is going to simulate in the playoffs themselves. He simulated very good in this season. So here's hoping that he's going to be still good for the playoffs. Uh, what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is look at who we're facing up against, which is obviously the, um, what you call it, the Flyers. So we face them up. That's the third time in five years that we face against them in the first round. Let's see what they got. So they got um, Gagne, Carter, Martin St. Louis of all people. He's actually in the Flyers. That's interesting. Ryan Malone, Daniel Briere, Nukalainen, Hartnell, Talbot, Abshal, uh, Djetslav, probably a prospect, Lundvix, and Korea. All right, so they've got a couple of prospects here and there. They've got a, a good upcoming team. We've got a way better team offensively than them we should be scoring more goals than them guys uh depends so defensively all right they've got a weak defense so we've got a better defense better offense and we oh all right so they do have Jacques Plante in their team so depending on if he plays good with them that's uh if he starts playing good against us I'm gonna I'm gonna flip my shit guys all right so here's Here's our chance to make Jacques Plante. We know Jacques Plante is not good in the playoffs, so it's our chance to score a lot of goals, guys. Let's go. All right. Well, I'm, um, I'm going to try out the slow simulation first. If it doesn't work out, we're going to do quick simulations. We're going to do the ones that work out for us, all right? So slow simulation right here. Let's see what we got. Hold on. Two, one, two to one. Okay. And we win five to three. Good. So we uh, we were winning three to one. They ended up tying the game up, but um, with the help of Kovalchuk and Eric Stahl, we managed to uh, score score one on them. So three goals for Leton, uh, Dryden, but five goals for Plant. So see what I mean? Plant is going to give up a lot of goals, and Dryden uh, looks like he's going to be a little bit better than Plant. Uh, three goals per game should be fine by me. As long as we score goals, guys, we should be able to score goals here. Let's go. That's good. We got the first game right here. We got to continue on that route. I'm really happy about what we're doing here. So let's continue. Second game. Jacques Plante is in the net, guys. You already know. All right. We got. Uh, we can score against this guy. We can score plenty. There we go. There's four goals for us. And that should be it. Seven goals. That's what I'm talking about. We've got the offense. We've got the defense. Um, Dryden gave up four goals, but we got seven goals. That is what I'm talking about. I'm looking for players just like Bobby Ryan, Patrick Kainsey scoring and everything. I've got players that um, actually produce in the playoffs as well as in the season. So it's balanced now. All right, I know what to look for in the players um, during the preseasons and stuff. And uh, now it's coming up for us. It's really good. So we're winning two to nothing. Let's continue this shit, guys. This is working out a slow simulation for us. Five to two in the first period. Six to two. Really happy. 
Yes, 7 to 2. Nice. 7 to 2. Jacques Plante is shitting the bed as always. I love it. I love not having him anymore on my team. He's 98 overall and he gives us 7 goals per game, guys, in the playoffs. This is ridiculous. I'm so happy I don't have Jacques Plante anymore. And Dryden's actually doing a pretty decent job. Only, only one game where he gave up 4 goals. Uh, three goals, I'm fine. That's the maximum I want in the in a game of playoffs. So, only one goal or a game where he kind of shut the bed. The rest, he did great. So this is our chance. We can eliminate or basically do a complete sweep. Uh, and I think we're gonna do it. Four goals in the first period right away. There we go. Another four goals for Dryden. He gave up three goals in the first period, uh, third period. But our first period was so good that. Uh, Managed to keep up, so a complete sweep of the Flyers, Philadelphia Flyers, which brings us to the second round. That's already better than last year, so that's good. That's really good. Who are we going to face against uh, in the second round? Now, I'm kind of scared. I really want to have um, a good playoff and even go for the Stanley Cup. Like, we got to go for the, the main thing. It's like uh, Chicago eliminated Detroit. Peter Fosberg is back. That's right. We actually swe uh, swept the Flyers without um, Fosberg in the team. He wasn't even there. So imagine, guys. So Storm. Uh, Marco Strom. A uh, Storm. He's actually pretty good. But we've got Krejci up in here. Krejci is not that good. Okay. Storm is better. I feel like. Hang on. What does he do in playoffs? So, minus one. Playoffs, plus one. I'm going to keep Krejci. And uh, Marco Strom. I'm going to have Fosberg in here. Strom, I just... Uh, Storm, I just need to... There we go. Do that. And then we're going to have Peter Fosberg up in there as well. Uh, Fosberg is 96 uh, of things. He's better than Mike Richards. Okay, so here we go. Fosberg back in the second line. That's good for us. Let's see what we got else. Uh, do we need to change anything? Yes, we do. All right. So let me just put Fosberg where he was. Everywhere he was. He was basically playing everywhere. So Fosberg. There we go. Like that. Same thing for you, buddy. You're going here. So he's finally back, guys. That's really good for us. God damn, he was everywhere. All right, let's go. That's it right there. So, uh, we don't know. We still don't know who we're facing up against the second round. Let's see real quick. Montreal got eliminated by Pittsburgh, as we can see. Let's see. We should be uh, able to see here. We're There we go. It's finally over. They took a long time. We, we did a complete sweep uh, and everything. So, we're going to face off against Toronto for the second round, which is... Interesting because the, uh, the best player right now of the playoffs in the league is a Toronto player. It's all Sullivan with 12 points. So we got to watch out for this guy. This guy is going to produce a lot. Let's go look at uh, what kind of team they've got. Toronto, they're right there. So they've got Marion Osa, 91 overall. So got to watch out for that. And uh, Patrick O'Sullivan, I think his name is. 89, probably a prospect or something. He's the best player of the league right now. So we got to watch out for these two guys. They've got two great guys. Uh, Entropov is not that good. And uh, all right. So they've got Ma Bell, Max Sava, which is pretty decent. That's three guys right there. All Plekanec. They've got Thomas Plekanec in here. Okay. Lidstrom, Camilleri, Pittinger. Okay. So they've got three guys. They've got three players. We got to watch out for. And uh, I'd say one defenseman, Mizarros, we got to watch out for. So one defenseman, three, okay, so four players in total. And they've got Patrick Roy as well. All right, so they've got good, good goal tending. Well, we don't know if Patrick Roy simulates good or not. I think he does compared to Plant. So a good goal tending and four players compared to us, which we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 players 
that are really big time players, elite players. And we've got a goal, a great goaltender as well. So we got the offense. We got the defense like always. Let's see what we can do here. Can we beat ja Patrick Roy? We passed Jacques Plante easily. Now it's time to uh, go against Patrick Roy. Let's go Dryden. I believe in you. Nice. A great first win. 6-3. to three. That's really good. As long as it gives up. As long as it doesn't give 5 goals per game. We should be alright. I mean we should definitely be alright. Alright. 4 goals. 3-4 goals per game. It's fine by me in the playoffs. Because we can score six goals if we only give up like that many. Alright, it gives us an advantage and everything. Second game, that's two to nothing for us. Four to one, six to one, that's a win right there. Eight to one, great win, a big time win for us. Uh, Patrick Roy is struggling, he gave up eight and six goals in the two first games. Basically 14 goals in two games. That is um, a lot. It seems like Patrick Roy does not simulate too well as well in the playoffs. Uh, it's interesting to see that Dryden is kind of the only one that doesn't have... Oh, hold on now. Alright, they won one. So that's five. The O'Sullivan picked up uh, the win for his team right there. So they came up with a win also on us. Which makes it our first loss of the playoffs right now. We're still winning 2-1. to one. Kubina is back that's right Kubina was injured and I was replacing him with uh, Timonen I believe isn't it wasn't I uh, I don't think so I, th I think okay no it's Valabic Valabic uh, okay so Kubina you're going back in there Valabic oh uh, no no Valabic there we go so Kubina going back in there he was playing, okay, so Kubina was playing on all these lineups right there. Keep in mind, we had two injuries right here. One minor, this was the minor one. The other one in the first uh, the first round was actually a really big time. Uh, a major one, though, with Peter Fosberg. But now that he's back, should that help us out. So let's see what we got. Alright, now we got everyone is, um, there's nobody injured. We should be good. There's... There we go. Came back. Six goals. There we go. Six to four. We win six to four. Marian Osa gives up um, a game winning goal. Actually, it's David Krejci. Nice. He gave us a goal. So that's good. We were trailing three to two in the first period, but then we came back, and that's that's how we do it, guys. Now we're winning three to two. We can go far in this one. We can go far. Get past Patrick Roy, get past Jacques Plante. We should be good, guys. Let's go. Uh, Florida was eliminated by Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is going to go far. So if we uh, eliminate the uh, uh, Toronto, we already know we're going to face off against Pittsburgh. So this is our chance. We can eliminate them right there and then. And then it's going to be the case, guys. Holy total demolition with 8-2 to two loss for Toronto. 8-2 to two win for us. Really good, really good. I'm really happy about our performances. And uh, here we go. We only got one loss out of nine, out of ten, um, or nine, uh, nine players. What should I say? Really good. We only have one loss out of nine games played in the playoffs so far. So we're doing awesome. And we already know we're gonna face off against the Pittsburgh Penguins for this upcoming third round so we are all the way at the third round guys that's really good for us no injuries we're full on on the team and everything Gra uh, Morens is in St. Louis is looks like to be the best player right now all right oh Kovalchuk is uh, top five that's good all right so we're going up against Pittsburgh now they can be they could be very dangerous and they've got kind of got the same stats as us uh, for the season. Let's go check uh, really quick. They've got the best, second best player of the league right now in the playoffs in Maurice Richard. They've got a lot of big players. All right. So that's going to be a tough one right there. That's going to be our toughest um, challenge right now. So uh, in the playoffs. So Maurice Richard 99 overall. Holy, with Crosby and Lafleur, 
a, tri a trio, guys, a first line of 99s. Oh my goodness. They've got a first line of 99s. Mo the Rocket, Crosby, and Guy Lafleur together. This is... We, ha we won't be able to stop that. That will be very difficult to stop that. They've got in the second line, Steve Schott, our former player for us. Steve Schott with Malkin. So 89 and a 94. That's five players right there already. David, uh, Brand, Brad Boys, all right. Uh, and uh, Molson, Jordan Stahl. We've got the brother, one of our brothers right here on our team. We've got Eric, they've got Jordan, uh, 989 overall. So they've got six players offensively. They, how many do, we, do they get? Six players, so one, two. I'd say Le is kind of a challenge, so... Chris Letan, so maybe seven players. We got 11. So, we still have the advantage. Uh, defensively, we, yeah, we have, I think, it's kind of the same. Uh, defensively, we're kind of the same. And offensively, they kind of get the advantage. You've got 399s, guys. They've got Marc Andre Fleury as well at uh, 92. Goaltenders is something else. This is gonna be a rough one. I just want to see really quick who won the cup uh, last year. It was the the Blue Jackets. All right. Oh guys, this is gonna be rough. We can do this though. I believe in us. It's a question of who's go, uh, which goaltender is gonna drop the ball or which goaltender is gonna be basically play the best. Um, six to four. Oh, we lose six to four first game. See. Uh, that's gonna be rough. 399s right there. Uh, the f that first line is gonna be impossible to stop uh, almost. I don't know if we're gonna be able to pass. I am not gonna be mad if we get uh, we can't get past uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins right there because they're too OP guys. They've got a first line like the best first line in the game. What the hell? How we can how can we get past? No no. To a 7 3 3. You can't just give up five goals in a period, though. Alright, this is not doing. It's not the fault of Dryden, guys. It's just. He played well so far. It's just. We're, now we don't have the offense. And as well, they, they have too great of an offense. Like, we can't stop 399s. It's just not gonna happen. I feel like uh, this is might be it, guys. This is my. This might be our stop right here. God damn it. We waited far, man. But we had to face up against the freaking Pittsburgh Penguins. Ah, 5-2, to two, guys. Damn it. We're definitely going to get sweep even. We probably will get sweep by the Pittsburgh Penguins. This is ridiculous. These guys are OP as fuck. How can we stop these... No, we we won't be able to stop them. I, like, look at my lineups. We can't stop that first goddamn line. It's too OP. It's too much. All right, let's see. For our two, uh, our two new lineups, our new lineups. Oh, uh, it's not enough. It's just not enough. Even with our new lineups, guys, it's just we gave up less goals, four goals, but we can't score. They've got too many of a good defense, a balanced defense. And uh, yeah, that first line was just terrible for us. We got we got a complete swept. Oh, they only got one loss, as you can see. They've got they're twelve and one. They're probably gonna win the cup this year. Well, looks like uh, Pittsburgh Penguins were way too OP in this game, and we cannot defeat an OP team like that. Yeah, it's just not happening. It's just a shame, man. I we were. We were doing fine. We were doing great. Finally, we go to the third round, and of course, we got a face off against these goddamn penguins. Oh, they've got like five or s they've got seven players that are dangerous. We got eleven, but um, I don't know. I guess they were better. It's because of the 99s. It's just ridiculous. The 399s in your team, it's over. Like, you automatically win the playoffs. It's, it's ridiculous. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the preseason. 
All right, guys. So looks like the Pittsburgh Penguins won the cup, and against uh, not against anybody, against the previous Stanley Cup winners, the previous uh, champions, which was the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets. They end up going for a second time in a row in this um, the finals, but they just can't. They won the cup last year, but they just this year they can't get past the Penguins. So we we lost basically against the Stanley Cup champions, which uh, is fine by me. God damn. I mean, it was obvious when I saw that lineup, that first line with 99s, uh, three 99s. It's like, forget it, my guy. You're not, we're not going anywhere with that. Jacques Plant, I no thank you. I do not want this garbage ass goaltender in my team again. You can go on with that. Now, here's what I'm, here's what I'm uh, wondering. Aren't we supposed to have like uh, a contract as a GM? I thought that was a thing in this game as well. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe we have to play. Uh, maybe it's just like the newer games where you have to play all 22 years and stuff. That's interesting. With the same team. Naslum uh, retired. Arnett. Uh, Paul Korea. Shetan. Shetan, we got. Uh, we traded him or got rid of him. All right. Smith, uh, we got a couple of players here and there. All right, nobody uh, offensively, defensively. We do have Jovanovski at 669 points, and that's about it, really. We did lose uh, Kubina, it seems like. So, oh, we lost both Timonen and Kubina, guys. Timonen is actually a really good player. I hate the the fact that you it's not well done. So Boyle and Timon and both legends in their own right as well. But um, they retired, so got to, at least lost two uh, two defensemen here. And what about goaltenders? Only uh, Patrick Lalim as the greatest, uh, good, uh, the best one right now. Uh, let's see real quick. Nobody else that doesn't think so. Nope. And I don't think so either. Okay, so two. Okay, no. So a couple of uh, legends here and there, maybe three or four, and that's about it. So we're gonna be stuck with this team. That's okay because we got a long thing, a long way to go with these guys. Let me see real quick. Who should we pick up now? All right, we're we stuck with these, uh, this uh, uh, region of the play, uh, the rounds and everything. Let me see real quick. A goaltender, maybe? No, we got plenty of goaltenders anyways. What I'm going to do is look for a player right here. So, some, some, and that's low. None for these two. <coughs> so, we should probably go for one of these two guys right here. This is a 80, so 70, 65, and 70. I think they're probably going to be in the 65, uh, 75s or 73 or something like that. So he's probably going to be pretty decent. Um, scaling profile. See, it doesn't tell you though if he's an A, if he's a B or like what is he exactly. It's kind of what's frustrating here. He's a 75, 65, 70... So this guy is better right here. Already you can tell this guy is going to be much better over Austria. So we're going to pick up this guy, McNeil. Let's just see what we got. Look at these, uh, this one, Not 81 overall. Good Lord. All right, let's see what we picked up right here. We picked up, uh, oh, that's kind of garbage. 68 overall. Nah, that's not, that's not good at all. We had Bolokov we could have picked up, so that's... Alright, this is why I... Yeah. You know what, this is why I shouldn't do the draft picks, guys, because I'm gonna completely mess up. And uh, that was uh, not good at all for me. We messed up right there. I don't like the, uh, the draft system in this game, I really don't. It's all over the place. Alright, let's see what we got as an option. What do we have? Who do we have to sign? Williams, I am not, well, could sign. I'm going to do something uh, different this time around. All right, guys, the uh, new new thing. I am allowed to, 
however the interest is it doesn't matter anymore for the interest i am allowed at this point it's been five years i am allowed now to sign anyone i want uh i do have if their interest is low though i do have to give them um more money though absolutely so what i do have to do in that sense is i am still i will still be stuck with the uh one million more only as an option all right so this is still going to be a thing it's going to still limit me with what i can do but not too much so that i can uh, i can't do anything you know it's a b minus uh, kubasu he's all right but 68 i'm not gonna sign him not yet anyways all right so let's see what we got here this uh jason williams is pretty good guys well playoffs actually is a garb no he's not He's not good, so La Rose, is he any good? Nope. Not in the playoffs. Looking for play balanced players right here. All right, let's see what we got here. Alex Tanguay actually uh, dropped down a little bit. He was 87. He played most of the year at uh, fourth line, so 86 now. That's okay. He's still got uh, good potential. Uh, he had a, a horrible year for NHL. He doesn't produce... Like, he doesn't have great years overall anyways. He's always in the minuses. So, I'm just going to get rid of him. To be honest, I am not impressed with him. I'm just going to get rid of him. I'm not signing him again. Uh, Pedersen. Now, Barry Pedersen. Really important to have him back. He's a B-minus potential. 81 overall. He's ready to play with us. He's got, look at this. 81 points. Four plus 46 AHL only minus one that's okay so Pedersen definitely want him back he wants to be back for two years I'm gonna give you four three years buddy for uh, 2.5 um, uh, uh, 2.5 basically 2.525 I guess three years buddy all right all the way up to do 25 years of age Christensen um, He's a C potential. I'm not interested in him. Yeah, he's uh, not interested in him at all. Uh, right wing position. Let's see what we got. So, Bobby Ryan. Do we want him back or not? Uh, let's see really quick. He does have a good offensive awareness. But, okay. So, two out of four years. All right. And uh, three out of... Oh, yeah. This is... Um, it's not too good. It's not too good. It does. It's not really that good for the playoffs. So you know what? Let's wait up on him. Not gonna sign Bobby Ryan. Yes, he's not uh, good enough. Not good enough. Peter Sikora. We've got. Uh, I mean, he's 26 years of age. His potential is not that great. Okay, so Peter Sikora. Do we want him back? Uh, he's got a really good offensive awareness. Um, minus 15, though. But uh, three out of four years. Yes, all right, definitely want him back. He's a good player for us, a good addition. Um, he wants to be back for two years only. I can give him four years. So definitely four years at 4.15, all right? Four years for 4.15. Should be able to accept that. So be back, uh, be with us until you're 40 years of age, buddy. Clutterbuck, I don't know if I want him or not. Let's see really quick. Is B potential? Uh, you know what? We kind of... Yeah, we could get him a chance. Yeah, AHL. He is great in the AHL. He's actually pretty great. 60 points and all. Yeah, I'm uh, interest, interested in him. For sure. So, I'm going to sign him again. Uh, another... I can give him three years. I'm going to give him the one year... The one year deal he so desperately wants. So, just one year deal. Entropov, big time player. Uh, I gotta sign this guy, McNeil. I gotta sign him actually because he's a potential. So I am definitely gonna sign this guy. There we go. So Entropov, do I want to sign him again? B minus potential. Uh, Bertuzzi, okay. So Ruchiska, not really interested in these two, but uh, Entropov, do I want to sign him? 92 overall in offensive awareness. Um, he does not produce though in the a a a AHL. He does not produce. Does not do that good. Yeah, he's not. Um, 
it's not that great. So no, we're not signing him again. We're passing up on him, guys. Uh, what about Bertuzzi? 79 overall is not that great. But uh, we can probably get better than him. We're going to pass up on him, all right? And Ruchiska, 84 overall. I'm going to say, yeah. I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure. Do I want him back? Oh, he's not. He uh, doesn't really produce. All right, so you know what? No. Not signing him either. Defenseman. We got Kromval. Stefan Kromval right here. Of 70 overall for a player that's in no. Uh, no, he's not. He's not good. What about Kohn? Okay, so Kohn cannot grow, but. Okay, so he's an AHL player. 76 overall. He could be good. Could be good, but uh, minus one is more. Uh, okay, so we gotta check for these. So. Three, uh, two out of three. It's actually pretty decent. You know what? Let's uh, let's get him back, just because he he is pretty decent. We're gonna give him for two ye three years, at uh, one point, a uh, two point five uh, seven five. All right. He sh uh, two point four seven five. He should accept that. No problem. Give him that. Uh, what about uh, McKay? McKay, I'm not sure. Oh, no, he's garbage. What about Denis? Denis is all right. He's okay. Uh, does does he have, does he play any good? He does play good. He does produce uh, very good in the playoffs. So I'm going to definitely sign him again. It's B minus potential as well. So two years, we can give him to her for three years again. All right, so we can give him... Uh, is he interested in a two-way contract? He is not. So we have to give him a big time uh, thing. So 1.575, all right, for three years, buddy. And we've got Beckett, Jim Beckett right here, B minus potential. Let's see what we got. 70 overall. Yeah, I think he could be all right. Could be all right for us. Let me see real quick. Yeah, he's producing very well in the AHL. Yeah, he's doing very good. So, definitely want him. He's a good defenseman. He would be a great asset for us. So, what I'm going to do. One. Definitely want him for three years all the way up to 30. Uh, he's interested in a two-way. We're going to give him a two-way contract, guys. There we go. Just give him the two-way contract. Uh, maximum. Maximum for three years. There we go. Two-way contract, buddy. And we have Kaliz uh, Kenzaleno. Oh, I'm not sure about him. Hang on. Does, uh, he did not play so far. He's 60 overall, so no, not interested at all. And the goaltenders, we've got two goaltenders here. So, got Verstig and Linden. Uh, this guy might not be a good choice. Uh, no, I'm going to pass up on him. And Linden, he's a B minus, B potential, but... Uh, I don't. I'm not sure. Is he any good? No, he's only 64 overall as well. So I'm gonna pass up on him as well, guys. Okay, I think we're good. This is all the players I'm gonna sign here. Uh, the rest, you already know what I'm gonna do. I'm just basically gonna look at what I need. I don't, we're gonna pick up uh, depending on th what we need. So, uh, Sikora is back. We've got Peterson, Clutterbuck, Cohn, Denny, Beckett. McNeil and we got everyone I think everyone is back uh, Everyone that we wanted back they're gonna be back. We are gonna lose two kind of good players in Bobby Ryan and In uh, let me see real quick. Who do we lose? Where we're we gonna lose here. So Bobby Ryan and Tangi. All right, but thing is They're not that good. I mean, they're not producing like they should be and that's kind of the problem here there are minuses a lot. And that's kind of a... It's a problem for me. At least it's a problem for me. Playoffs. They're not playoffs, guys. They're not like... They're average in both sides. So I just don't want them. I just don't have any space for them. I could get better players than them. I'm sure of it. In the, C, in the free agency. So we'll go see what we can uh, have in the free agency... Hey guys, 
But before going for the free agency, I'm actually going to stop the video right here. All right. Remember to give it a like and subscribe to the initial video. I'm going to see you all for the next one. Keep it easy.